The Pomodoro method has been one of the greatest tools for my productivity. I use this strategy when I have a lot on my to-do list and I'm having trouble focusing and powering through. The Pomodoro technique can be used when you're faced with large tasks or a series of multiple tasks. It helps you break down the work into short, timed intervals that are spaced out by short breaks. Our attention span really isn't that long, and multitasking is not as much of a thing as we thought it was. So, the Pomodoro Technique is a great tool when you need help focusing and staying on top of challenging tasks. All you need is a timer and a notepad. Here's the breakdown. Choose a task to be accomplished. Set the timer to 25 minutes. Work on the task until the timer rings, then put a check on your notepad. Take a short break, five minutes is what I usually do, and then start another round. Every four rounds, take a longer break. I typically do 25 minutes here. During my breaks, I try to do something not work related. I'll stretch, grab a snack, check my text, grab the mail, etc. Now, naturally things will come up and it will feel like you're being attacked for trying to be productive. So what can you do to help with the distractions? Remember the following acronym, I-N-C. I, inform the distracting party that you're working on something at the moment. N, negotiate and schedule a time that you can get back with them about the issue, in a reasonable time frame, of course. Be sure to make note of this task immediately. C, call back and follow up once you're done and can give focus to the issue at hand. It may sound something like this. Hey, I'm working on something right now. Would it be okay if I followed up with you in 30 minutes? Now, I know every distraction won't be that simple and things are going to require your immediate attention. However, when you can, know that it's okay to express that you aren't available in the moment. This will help you stay in the groove for your work and help you feel more in control of your work day. Here's a few things I do to make the most of my Pomodoro rounds. I start off with a brain dump. I take a piece of paper and write out everything I need to get done that day. Then, I prioritize my list and pull three things that would make me feel accomplished if I got them done by the end of my rounds. Then, I take those tasks and focus on only one at a time. I personally like to write out my list. Crossing finished tasks off is so satisfying. I turn off the notifications on my devices and close any tabs I don't need open for the task I'm completing. This has been super helpful. I tidy up my work environment. Clutter is distracting. I like to clean up the area I'm working in and only have out the materials I need to successfully carry out my round. I personally love lighting a candle and listening to lo-fi music on YouTube when I'm doing my rounds. They are really chill beats that help me get into a good groove because there are no lyrics for me to have a karaoke moment to. And if I need some accountability, I bring in a friend. Whether I'm sitting at a coffee shop or using an online platform, sometimes it helps to bring in an accountability partner for your rounds. We share our intentions on what we're going to do in the round, set the timer, work, and chat on our breaks. Try this technique the next time that you have several tasks on your plate and are having a hard time focusing. I hope it helps. Create a great day.